And now, Deborah Green from Live a Moment. <sighs> so happy to be here. Hi, I'm Deborah Green. I'm the founder of Live a Moment. How many people have their phones in their hand? Okay, let me do it this way. How many people don't have their phones in their hand? Wow, there's a handful. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm going to start us off really quickly. Um, just how I do, ev everywhere I go, we tour around the world and, and uh, talk to people about their state of peace and ask them, ask them to pause. And this is how we start. I say, go ahead, regardless of the cra craziness around you, go ahead and close your eyes with me. And take a breath and think of a moment in your life when you're like, ah, this is peace and really bring yourself into that moment. Or think of someone you love and bring them around you, feeling in the air and understand. And breathe. And open your eyes. It literally takes that amount of time to recalibrate your mind towards peace. This time we're using this, let's see this one. I feel love. could just end the presentation there. Um, that's an example of how people are using the app. You take a pause at the top of the hour is what we're suggesting. And you ask yourself, what am I feeling? And there are emotions. We have six different categories. Hope, love, happiness, sadness, fear and anger are in one, and we know we're working on that and how that should be. And, um, and also, we have another camp. Uh, category about being numb, which isn't psycholo in the psychological books, but modern day, that's a category with, that we're all in often. So this is who we are. Live a Moment is a new platform built on the philosophies that emotions can connect us around the world. I feel, you feel. I breathe, you breathe. Beyond the politics and the religion and the state of the world, that's how we're going to come together. So we strive to create an emotional uh, global map uh, and use to incite what we call three minutes and three feet of peace, which I'll tell you where that came from. And of course, it came from students. So this is the basic of how the app works. My goal is to take a tool that, you know, I mean, don't make technology bad, but have, use it rather than have it use you, yeah? And so you go in and you take a moment. Top of the hour is what we're going for. What if it was a cultural norm that we noticed it was noon and we paused? We just stopped for a moment and took a breath. So what we've de done is we've worked with 80 filmmakers around the world and they've taken moments from all over the world for us to step into. So it's not just a pretty waterfall. You know you're stepping into Pakistan or you're stepping into Georgia or Portland or you know where you're stepping into. That's an empathy building tool right there. What's it like to feel peace in Pakistan? We'll take that moment. Then you plug in how you feel, and it maps out how many people and where on the planet feel the same way as you at the same moment in time. And we call this the global unknown. And at this moment, we're not going to put pretty faces up and go, oh, my friend is feeling the same way. We like the idea that it's you don't know who it is. You just know it's somebody in Biloxi. Or that you say around a room, uh, teachers have used this. So they've started their class. And they note, the kids note how they're feeling, and then they say, five people are sad. You don't know who it is, but now the child is wondering, I wonder who feels like I do, I'm not alone. I wonder if it's this person or that person. Right now, empathy. You're stepping outside of that again. And then we have a tool in there that also talks about and shows you your emotional map over time. Think of it as your emotional Fitbit. So and you can see through the world, too, how is, what's the calibration of the world? We have gone with artists all over the world. One of my favorite things is working with these artists who, um, I mean, I love me some Deepak. He's, you know, and all of these wonderful leaders who have come out and spoken these wonderful words. But 
Sometimes it's the cab driver, and sometimes it's the guy sitting next to you on the subway, and sometimes it's this beautiful woman who started the presentation and said words that will stay with me forever. And we have to start paying attention to each other because what happens is we're looking down instead of looking what's next to each other. We're also working with artists. This is a um, uh, KP um, Hart and Robert Sturman. So you can also go in and you have these visual stories that are storytelling as you go through the app. So I'm gonna give you kind of a really quick brief about where it started. After 9-11, I got on the road and I uh, asked students how they were feeling after 9-11. And one child said, world peace is too big for me. I can't do it, you can't do it. And I said, what about three feet of peace? What about this space around you? Can you have dominion over this? So that's what we're doing with this, three feet of peace at a time. What happens when three feet of peace meets three feet of peace meets three feet of peace? That's an entirely different conversation, but that's world peace. Before the election, I got on the road again and went all over America. I went, um, I went 9,000 miles by car, 40 states, thousands of people, and, and we talked about how they were feeling. What I learned was three things. There's more love than hate. We're more alike than not. And when people feel calm, they are kind and even generous. Here's one example. And we're going to move on because this isn't working for me. <laughs> Here, Khalil. कराची के शहरी के तौर पे हमें तो लगता है कि है कि एक डेड बॉडी गिरने से दूसरी डेड बॉडी गिरने तक का जो वक्फा होता है उसे पीस कहते हैं वो मौका था जब मैं अपने एक बहुत अजीज दोस्त से गुफ्तगु कर रहा था और मैं उसको सहारा दे रहा था वो मुझे सहारा दे रहा था तो एक अच्छा दोस्त जो है वो मैं समझता हूं कि बड़ी नेमत है आई Alhamdulillah, I am grateful to Almighty Allah that uh, I have good friends, some good friends. You never know what somebody's carrying with them. You never know the same hurt or joy or heartache. And what we're trying to do is connect the dots. We've gone to DC and we're trying to get people to pause at the top of the uh, week. We're calling it Monday morning moments. What if um, the Senate started the week with a moment of pause to recalibrate how they go about their work week. What about if you did? Because the Senate is us. They're just people in a different job. Collaboration is the new disruptor, I like to say this. What we're doing on the app is, this is the global pause. What we're doing on the app is trying to create people, to give people the opportunity to collectively come together once a day, hop on the app, say how we feel, and for us to give, the app is free, except that we ask you to donate to all these peace organizations around the world. So here are some ways that you can work with us. If you're interested and want to get on the app and raise money, please let us know. Again, it's free, and then we just ask everybody in the Good to Give section to give to one of these wonderful organizations. Working with Pathways to Peace, we're looking to create moments. We're going to go around the, uh, the, for the summer, People sometimes call me uh, the peace traveler. Now we're going to create, create peace travelers that are students and teach them how to have these dialogues, get people on the app, and create a student wave, peace wave around the world. And what we're and there will be a video for that. We've done events around the world, like an Airbnb installations for United Peace Day and an inaugural event at Love Army. And on Monday morning, please join us. We have amazing teachers. Um, there's a whole list of them, everybody from Mark Coleman to Lori Schwann back to Sylvia Borstein, Dr. Dan Siegel, amazing people that are coming on board to lead us through these Monday morning moments. What we want to do is create a culture of peace by creating an environment where people aren't afraid of their emotions. To know what peace is doesn't mean at all it has to be all the, quote, happy words. You just need to be able to align with what is. 
that's how you're going to find center, and that's how we are going to be able to work with each other. So let us know if there's ways that you want to work with us. Our goal for the International Day of Peace, working with Pathways to Peace, is we want this tool to be available for all the people who are creating events around the world for International Day of Peace. So may your next choice bring you peace, and then may you bring your peace to the world. Amazing presenters, amazing models, tips, and tools. And um, now we have the opportunity to have Elizabeth Sheridan join us. She is um, a global leader. She'll talk a little bit more about herself. She's going to be presenting the Global Leaders Toolkit, which is an amazing tool for bringing peace. Elizabeth? <laughs> 